Olivia McTaggart, the former gymnast, left that sport because of a back injury. Oh. My gymnastics career, I guess it started when I was four years old. At around nine and 10 is when we started training very full on. It was up to 20 hours a week, which is actually quite normal for gymnastics, weirdly enough. <laughs> it almost became like my identity. It was just a part of me. I was about 12 years old. I started to feel pain in my back. Went into the doctor. When he told me the news, he showed me on the screen what it was that had happened, and it kind of hit me the extent of how bad it was. He showed me the three stress fractures and said, you're never doing gymnastics ever again. And for me, that was just like, you know, like it just hit me so hard. My family was so supportive during that time pushing me to stay positive and look for all these different outlets and just be a normal teenager, um, which I guess I hadn't had. I went to watch my brother at the Youth Olympics. That sparked something in, in my brain that this is something I want to be able to do. Hey. You have that something inside of you, that ambition, that dream, you keep that going. If you have that self-motivation, you're going places. My surgeon told me it's easier to fix a broken back than it is a broken spirit. Um, so that gave me that kind of positivity within myself to keep going and try something else. It was almost just stepping back to step forward. My brother, Cam, kind of pushed me to keep going for another sport. So I went on my quest to, I guess, find what that would be. I was at school and Jeremy, my coach now, he actually came into our PE class and did sort of exhibition on pole vaulting. I remember him asking the class if there was any questions. I put my hand up and said, would I still be able to do pole vaulting even with this back injury I've had? He goes, yeah, go on, come and give it a go. You're going from flipping upside down, doing the craziest things as a gymnast at such a young age. It's like, I don't want to just lose that. I want to be able to still flip upside down. One of the biggest things I've learned is to put things into perspective. Impossible is what you make it. Switch that mindset around to this impossible could be something that's going to make me the best that I can be.